Merry Christmas 2015 yes it's December 20th we're only five days away this thing wheels are so black they don't come in on the video got the wind is tinted well, the front ones to match the back 20% it's the illegal tent, but I'm not likely to get bothered. I haven't run this in a few days. And I thought I would uh, maybe get out and go put some bit gas in it. Let the fluids circulate a little bit. So, let's see here. Um, this is also going to be sort of my update. I've thought about selling this thing a few times here and there. Because there's so much stuff needs to be done to it. And um, the four wheel drive's not working. You can take this and put it the transfer case in four wheel drive. And um, I got out and turned the truck off, of course. Got underneath it and was uh, trying to turn the front drive shaft, and it was locked with the transfer case. So my hubs are probably bad. And. You don't see a whole lot of uh, 80s trucks with automatic hubs. Most people have already replaced them, or, and I can see why now. And that's probably what I'm going to do. But I'm going to keep the automatic hubs so that I at least have all of the original uh, equipment on the truck. Something else, my uh, smoker window over here that has the broken stud on the bottom that comes up. Um, the LMC replacement, the window frame, and the whole mechanism that's down in the door that deals with this window is like 600 bucks. And I found one on eBay for $150. I think I'm gonna go ahead and buy that. And I already have the rubber to go in the windows, but the rivets, the, the hinge on the outside is a rivet. And from my understanding, you have to drill those out and then you'll probably have to use bolts to reassemble it. If anybody has either done this before or knows where I can get some actual correct size rivets or something to put it back together the right way, I'd appreciate that. Uh, of course, I still haven't replaced the window motors because that's just 
like how lazy I am, I guess. No, I don't. I don't know how this window comes apart from the uh, track in there. I would try it, and since I have to park outside, I, I really don't uh, want to tackle that and get it screwed up and then have it sit outside and have to tape a bag over the window or something. So, there's oil pressure. Ever since we replaced the oil sending unit, that thing is red pretty high. I don't know if it's normal for it to sit all the way up there like that at idle. But uh, anyway, this was just sort of a, I guess an update on what I'm doing to it. Um, as far as the four wheel drive goes, I know that I also need some kind of wheel bearing on this side. And this, this dang thing shimmies all over the road. You're constantly doing this. It's like a boat. So I think what I'm gonna do, I've watched a few videos online uh, the Flatlander is one of the guys, uh, his channel, that I just recently um, found and subscribed to. He did a spindle rebuild uh, and the Warren Premium Locker swap. And I think I'm pretty much just going to copy what he did. I don't really have all the tools to push the bearings out and, uh, and back in. So I may have to take my spindles off and take them to a shop to have them put all the bearings and things in the spindle and then I can bring it back home and put them on myself. And then I'll probably do the ball joints. And if I still have a lot of slop and it's going back and forth, uh, I don't know, I'll just have to start <laughs> replacing other little things, the track bar or something, and see if I can finally figure out what the hell it was that's causing it to go nuts going down the road it won't track straight it just wants to veer back and forth so all right i think that's long enough y'all have a happy holidays or merry christmas or whatever have you